Hey, baby. Yeah. You love Halloween, right? Yeah. Are you ready for some spooky foreplay? Get over here. No. All right, fellas, y'all remember in middle school when the teacher asked us to come to the board and solve a problem and people laugh at us if we got a random boner for some reason? Dude, it wasn't our fault. Look what the teachers were doing. Bruh, then diagrams. Basically boobs, box, and whisker plants. Basically square boobs with far out nipples. Uh, I never figured out why Law Division turned me on that there's probably some therapy in there I somewhere. Love Matt, dude. <laughs> oh! What's going on guys? It's college game day, Georgia versus Tennessee, and it's interesting today. I am a Georgia fan, and Kat is a Tennessee fan. Now Kat and I have a little wager today. Whoever's team loses has to wear the apparel of the winning team for 24 hours. Hope you like wearing red and black. Hope you like wearing orange. That orange is an insult to the color orange. Y'all do not know how to block receivers cleanly. Look at that. Ah, I'm mugging him. Uh, yeah! Touchdown! And not good. Okay, I'll take it. It is a touchdown by Tennessee. Oh, boy. Look at that little white boy go! Fumble, Georgia! Picked off! Hey, another field goal. I'll take that. Right in the needle. Touchdown. Damn! Run him over. Touchdown. Oh, 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 say fumble! Fumble! Grab it! Go! 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 <laughs> oh, my God! Ban that! I'll retire the side. Go, dogs. He texted me. And it was a joke. So like, yeah, where does this dude live? Cause uh, I just want to talk to him. Also like, where do you live? Cause girl time is definitely a thing. That is not true. Anybody can be vegan. Just try your best. Can't you try your best? I, I can't hear you over the side of my grill and my monster metabolism, which requires me to eat more than a rabbit I'm gonna diet. Get more. Hey baby, yes. to decorate the living room, can we put a picture of Jim Morrison behind the couch? No, it's a living room. Well, I guess you're right. He's not exactly living. All right, baby, you got your mask? Yes, I do. Just make sure you grab the cans. Not those! So it's actually funny that you asked that. Every time I attempted to film this video, I started from a certain house because that's where the hill started on the road. And this woman was taking her trash out when she heard my music and she's like, Are you making a TikTok? I heard that Fleetwood Mac song. Are you doing the longboard thing? Run, mate. Let's see if we can phone anybody who knows where the rum is. Sammy. Hey, nice. Can you tell me where I can phone the rum? I don't think so. <laughs> Donuts, let's scam. On the night, let's see if we can phone any rum over here. There's no rum, no rum, no rum. Where is the night? Excuse me, Mike. Can you tell me where I can phone some rum? No, it's in the grocery store. We don't carry rum. What? Who doesn't carry rum? Excuse me, Mike. Can you tell me where I can phone some rum here? Yeah, rum cake. What's rum cake? Cake rum. Cake rum. Cake rum. That actually sounds delicious. Let me go phone some. What's the rum on my school, mate? Okay, I love this show. It has an amazing storyline and some of the best character development I've ever seen. But The Legend of Korra touched on way bigger subjects and had way better writing for villains. This dude, this dude, this dude and his team, and this chick made this dude look like a little bitch. Let's be real, Fire Lord Ozai didn't really have any motive as a villain. He was just kind of a hot-headed, egotistical firebender who had a huge anger problem. Yes, I made the joke. Amon wanted to get rid of all bending to create equality. This is literally bender socialism. Unalak wanted to free all the spirits from the spirit world and become the dark avatar because he thought that the humans were their oppressors. Zaheer wanted to get rid of all nations and all borders because he says the natural order is disorder. And Kavir wanted to unite the Earth Kingdom because the monarchy didn't work, agreed, but instead of going the United States, States route, she basically became a female Hitler. But the scariest part about all the Korra villains, they were all so calm and they all thought that they were right. Like seriously, think about it. These people had a long time to think about their actions and they saw nothing wrong with them. That's way scarier than an angry, irrational dude. All right, baby, the debate's tonight. Here's what I say we do. Drinking game. Every time Trump tucks over somebody, you take a drink. I don't think that's a good idea. No, it'll be fun. Oh my God, it's happening so much. Oh, I regret this! Hold up, stop everything! You're telling me that this chick from this show was this chick from this show? Dude, what old am I? All right, which one of you guys put Vin Diesel releasing a song on your 2020 bingo card? All right, I gotta hear it. Wait, you wanna hear me, boy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, don't freak out, but I'm pretty sure there's somebody in my house and they're watching me. Hey, I'm fully clothed. <laughs> All right, y'all, we gotta have
have a talk about something. It is my understanding that women always compliment women. They're like, oh, I like your shoes, I like your hair, I like your butt. But one thing we never hear is dudes complimenting dudes. Like, seriously, we need some attention too. Y'all wonder why we're so depressed. Like, we need to normalize it and make it not weird anymore that you can compliment other dudes. Jesse! Your butt is looking great in those jeans today. Nice, bro. I've been waiting for you. Okay, I'm gonna say this once and only once. Whoever threw this piece of cheese at my back windshield while I was driving, your mom's a hoe! Don't touch it! I wanna hear it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at the little baby. Oh. And now look at the big baby. Wah. Right, the poison, the poison for Kiska. The poison chosen specially to kill Kiska. Kiska's poison. That poison? Hey, what's burning? What's burning? Hello, Sydney. What's your favorite scary movie? Listen, you little bitch, you hang out the phone, I'll cut you just like I did your mother. Do you wanna die, Sydney? Just a little reminder, some of us were fans of the Cobra Kai Dojo long before it became a series. Second, I finally had a chance to sit down and watch Cobra Kai. I binge watched it in less than 24 hours, and oh my god, when are we getting season three? Because, ah! I don't want to speak! I want to gulp! I want to gag! I want to choke! I want you to touch that little dangly thing that's swinging in the back of my throat! I don't want to spit! I want to gulp! I want to gag! I want to choke! I want you to touch that little dangly thing that's swinging in the back of my throat, Pat of the Platypus! I don't want to spit! I want to gulp! I want to gag! I want to choke! I want you to touch that little dangly thing that's swinging in the back of my throat, among other places. I don't want to spit. I want to go. I want to gag. I want to choke. I want you to touch that little dangly thing that swings in the back of my throat. It's fascinating, isn't it? The city of Townsville is being turned into a live action Powerpuff Girls CW show. Oh, let's get started. For those of you who don't know, the Powerpuff Girls was a cartoon that was on Cartoon Network when a lot of us were kids. And apparently the plot of this live action show is that the Powerpuff Girls is going to be 20 years older and they're going to resent the fact that crime fighting took away all their childhood. But can we just address that that's not going to be the weirdest part of the show? The weirdest part of the show is they're going to have hands! No more army nubby sticky thingies! And don't even get me started on how much more nightmare fuel this guy's going to be live action than he was when we were kids! All I wanted to do when I woke up this morning was put on some nice clothes and look real good today, but what did my mirror say? Yo, Chad, we teeing up on the golf course in five or what? <sighs> now I need to go change. Luna! Luna, we're- <gasps> Excuse me? What is this? She's cute. She looks miserable. Why would you put clothes on our child? Oh, Lucy! No! Y'all know what I think are the most interesting comments on TikTok? Not my favorite, just the most interesting. It's never the ones in my comment section, though I do love and appreciate a good bit of those that you guys leave. It's the ones that some people leave under comments that I've made on other people's videos, some of them including my friends. And it's stuff like, dude, who do you think you are? Or why are you verified, bro? I've never even heard of you. Why does it matter who I am? I'm just the dude over here who's vibing. By the way, I do go and check some of these trolls' profiles from time to time. Do you know, just see what kind of person they are, or what might have outraged them to leave such a comment under mine? Only to not be surprised to see that half the people they follow are some of the most problematic people on social media that have been in the news lately for doing some shady shit. Like, I don't know, sending some inappropriate stuff to children! So just remember the next time some of you get your panties in a twist over some random dude in the comment section who has a blue check mark saying, who does this guy think he is? Instead, you might want to reevaluate your taste because it's questionable. So I'm unpacking the master bedroom and I pulled this out of a box. It's... It's really heavy and there's a power cord coming out of it. I don't know what it is. It's a Himalayan salt lamp. It's a what? It's a Himalayan salt lamp. So it looks like the salt that's in our cabinet? It's salt. It is salt? Don't lick it. Why? Don't lick it. I'm frightened. Oh! Ah! 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 Oh! Why? 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 That's real? Oh god, it's like I'm a kosher pickle out of a China! 
I gotta tell you, I used to not be a cat person. Then I became one, only to find out that cats will do whatever they feel necessary to get their way. Like nibble at you until you cuddle them like this. An emperor penguin over their egg.